Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 21 of my Lazio Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. So coming off the previous episode now, we lost against Juventus, as you would know, in the quarterfinals in the Champions League. Obviously, respectable that we got to that. Uh, the board's really happy. So how we're going with Lazio so far, we are on the right track, that's for sure. Geronimo Rulli joining and Fabian Nogueira. I'll show you Fabian Nogueira if you're new because uh, he's less popular than John Mo Rulli, most definitely, but another Argentinian, a good young centre-back, he appears, 23 years old, uh, dominating for Banfield, or he's playing really well, not sure we say dominating, uh, but yeah, I think he can come in and be a good centre-back for us, and also you would have noticed from the previous episode, I've been adding some music into it, and I just wanted to freshen up my videos more than anything, uh, just try and attract new people to my videos and make them a better quality for you guys. Like for me, just changing up how many games I play in an episode or if I'm going to play games off camera, which I haven't done in this series. Yeah, that doesn't really change too much, but I feel as though enhancing the quality, if I get some background, good background music as well, yeah, just enhance it. And honestly, I like it as well, especially when I'm editing to have that <laughs> in the background. It just, it, it makes it more interesting for me. It's just really nice to listen to, because if I'll be honest, maybe I'm slightly tired of hearing my voice, because I've been editing my videos for almost four years now. So yeah, I think it sounds pretty cool uh, to have some nice music um, that the majority of people would like as well but yeah just wanted to touch on that to update you because I want to experiment and obviously about less than four months away until FIFA 17. FIFA 17 will be a focus on my channel uh, once that is released so just yeah experimenting with music as a yeah background uh, kind of thing in my videos to see how it goes down. Also we're going towards the end of the season of course we've got Milan and Napoli in this episode and we're gonna see how it goes if we stay in second and we yeah, don't get any closer to top, I think I'll play the rest of the games off camera, maybe apart from the last game of the season, then we can have like a review and that kind of stuff, because it looks like we are going to finish top three, that's for sure, but I won't worry about and focus on too much, I'll just play these two games, yeah, and we'll see where we're at for the last few games of the season, so we'll just go straight into the team selection, next game is three days later, mind you. And I don't want to be, like, resting players or anything, like, playing a full young team. I still want to be winning. I want to be doing well in the last few games, finishing the season off well. So, yeah, um, I think we won't make too many changes, though. This should be the team uh, we'll go in with. Obviously, back to 12 on the bench uh, for the Serie A. And, yeah, players come back from injury, so that's a good thing. But, yeah, the major part of the season, in a way, is over. Like, I don't think we can win the league and, obviously, already out of Champions League. But either way, let's go into the game. Okay, throw in from De Chilio. Romanoli goes back to him. Bonaventura. Good possession by AC Milan here. Now it's over top. Luis Adriano! And he scores. Marchetti couldn't make the save. Definitely can't wait for Geronimo Rulli. I would have thought he could have saved that most definitely. A bit disappointing to concede to the first shot you concede as well. They have their first shot at just a half chance as well. And they score from it. So... That is pretty disappointing for mine. Let's see. Just a ball over the top. A FIFA goal for you. <laughs> Lob through ball. But still, that had to be a good strike. I think that was outside of the foot shot by the look of that. If we're going to talk about the FIFA analogies. But anyway, yeah, that was a good strike. Okay, Buster with the throw in. Uh, given away there, but we do get it back now. Bilia. K to go out wide. Yes, Lulic bombing forward. Get that cross in. They clear it. Oh, really well defended there. And they could counter here. Watch out for Honda. Honda, Lulic. What's that going to be? Is that going to be a yellow card? And if it's just a yellow, I'm scared what they're going to do from the free kick. Honda's a really good free kick taker, but it is only the yellow card. I hope we can defend this somehow. But it's going to be a Barte. A fullback winning a header. Oh, that's disappointing. 2-0. Maybe, yeah, a bit of disappointment. Oh, AC Milan's still a good team. This is, like, one of the hardest games you'll face in the Serie A for the season, away from home against AC Milan. But, yeah, disappoint. I knew, like, I felt when they got free kick. There's <laughs> a good chance you'll concede. Poor performance here, but it's not really going to affect us in our league position. So it's like, yeah, maybe the players are in the same mind frame as me, but we're going to 
push to attacking and we'll go instructions and we'll see what could we change here we'll go to be more expressive and go route one i don't mm, yeah i don't know we could still have a good half without any major changes because obviously this style of football we've been playing pretty well for the season i just need to show a bit more of the players okay bilia corner can we score we can miroslav closer 18th goal of the season he will be leaving to benfica for the following season but he has been good uh, for his value this season we'll have to say and saying that considering his age maybe it's wise to let him move on again if you're new to the series he didn't actually want to sign a new contract so instead of yeah <laughs> yeah i couldn't really do much about it you go to offer him a contract but if he doesn't want to listen to an offer <laughs> what can you do but we could somehow get a second back could we equalize drussy he has showed so much signs and we signed him in january and the second half of the second half of the season he's been really impressive that first half of the second half of the season just to make you confused <laughs> but yeah he he wasn't as great when he just signed but that's to be expected for a young player uh, joining but now he's he's been so good he stepped up in the absence of Stefano Maori so what change are we going to make? Balde Cater is going to come off. And we're going to give Philippe Anderson. He's actually... Conditioning is pretty low. Match conditioning because... Uh, where are... No, no. Match sharpness. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. But <laughs> anyway... Because uh, I feel... Yeah, he's, his actual condition. It says the condition for the game. But yeah, he's, in terms of his fitness, he's not good. Uh, his condition. That's my... Not, not, like, that's how I like to explain it. But anyway... Yeah, he is going to come on. And we'll put him on attack. And same with Andrea Zivkovic. And we'll make that change just for now. And we're going to have to go, yeah, Stefan Radu. Because Lulic hasn't had a good game. Can't risk, like, another yellow card or making an error because he's had a poor game. So, Philippe Anderson coming on. Stefan Radu. I really rate Radu because he can play pretty much the fullback position and centre-back the same. Like, the same quality, natural in both positions, like, as a really good player. Okay, highlight here, Abate. Next goal. If there's a goal in this highlight, it could really be interesting. Especially if it's for us. But they look to be creating something here. What are they going to do? Can we put the tackle in? No, Luis Adriano. Marchetti makes the save. I feel as though we have to do something more. Maybe a change that changes up the formation. The setup of the team. Lucas Billia, well, he's been amazing. Parolo might have to leave him in. Like, this closer scored. Drussi hasn't had the best game, so we're going to take Drussi off. Well, he hasn't been bad, but again, like, we'll bring on... Can we bring on another striker? Can we... Well, we can't, actually. So that throws things up. Can can we fix it in some way? Like, Antonio Candreva, even if we don't go two strikers. Philippe Anderson, can he play centre-attacking midfield? Uh, he can't naturally. That is not good. Zivkovic... He can't naturally. He's been improving a bit. That's nice. Can Draver. How about he can? Well, he can play there. Uh, maybe just to do something unexpected like that. Maybe that's needed because we don't... Oh, we do have Matri to bring on. But can Draver's so good. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> it's hard to say. Advanced playmaker though. Or a shadow striker. I don't use that too much. But yeah, if he's playing a second striker kind of uh, role... Because, you know, he can score. That's the thing. That's the thing. So, he looks happy coming on. That's something we just need to try and do. Try something different. And also, we'll just make a couple of instruction changes as well. We'll go higher. Defensive line overload. So, now that turns to four. Obviously, the four is indication for higher. <laughs> but anyway, take more risks. And... Yeah, I don't like doing shoot on side. I say that a few times, but I feel as though we don't have a choice. We've got to be trying yeah, take some shots and yeah, go route one. And I think that will be it. Also, maybe we'll try and float some crosses. Yeah, try and get the headers on. Because don't forget, Miroslav closer. Yeah, tall player, good in the air. Maybe we can do something. Come on. And yeah, I put the, to take shots a bit more often shoot on sight when you have Ken Draver on you know he can strike them come on boys maybe do a bit of a team talk I don't do these too often we'll just push forward a bit more and see if we can create something 
But unfortunately though, lads, in this game, eh, doesn't seem like it's going to come to anything. Bit disappointing. We've had more shots on target. No team has had any clear-cut chances at all. So I feel it's a pretty close game. Uh, that's going to be it. Like 25 seconds starting for the highlight is never a goal. Well, very rarely anyway. So that's going to be all she wrote. Marchetti is playing his final games out for the team. Just anticipating the arrival of Geronimo Rulli for next season. Who will improve uh, definitely the amount of clean sheets we get. But also just, yeah, hopefully decreasing the amount of goals uh, we can see. So unlucky, it just wasn't our night. It was a pretty even game, if we're honest. Lukas Bilia dominance. But unfortunately, no one followed suit. So guys, on to the next game now, Napoli at home. And as you can see, Inter's catching up, uh, but we're still seven points away from four. So top three, but who knows? Uh, Milan, they are catching up. They beat us. So again, after this game, I'd like to think I can win it. And then I can say, yeah, we are in a safe position and I can play the rest of the games off camera. Again, like I said, apart from the last game of the season, that's the only occasion I'd probably play games off camera in this save specifically, just to get to the, the end of the season. Once our position is secured, pretty much Mirosav Closer is also going to have to be dropped out. Alessandro Matri, who scored most goals for us this season. Also, Maori is back, but also as expected. For a 36-year-old with a kind of a long-term injury, was a couple was a couple of months, something like that. And look at the pace down, agility down, but still mentally and technically, he's going well, apart from the long throws. And also, in an attacking midfield position, I don't think pace is that important. Like, he's never been running past players this season or anything like that. So I don't think it drops his overall quality and what he would output for us too much, in my opinion anyway. I'd love to see your views on Maori. I think we... Ha yeah, like, my plan is to keep him. I'm not planning to sell him because he's not worth enough to sell. I want to eventually have him at a coach, as a coach at the club, just because everything he stands for as a player is just, yeah, absolutely fantastic. No doubt that will translate into whatever coaching role, yeah, he would want to be part of. Also, Gentiletti off and will give Willie Auburn. And I, I noticed, yeah, you guys have been saying he's been actually a pretty good signing, Willie Auburn. Look how he's developing as well, 23 years old. A bit of a inspired signing, maybe slightly risky. Well, six million, so not too much, but signing uh, from the second division in Germany below the Bundesliga. So, yeah, maybe a bit of risk in that, but he shows he is. I'm surprised he's in that division, <laughs> to be honest, because he's a quality defender. I've seen him play a few times in real life, not too many times, but yeah, I do think he's a Bundesliga quality. But anyway, we'll move into the next game now. And you can see here Napoli going with a fairly defensive formation, the 5-4-1 diamond with wing backs. So it'll be very interesting to see how they come up against us, I think. See, if we can beat Napoli here, look, I see Napoli not definitely not the best team in the Serie A, but they're always a team that's up there, like, that qualifies for Europe, whether it be in Champions League or Europa League. So, a bit ahead of uh, our team, <laughs> a bit ahead of Lazio. So, if we can, yeah, that's the goal. If I, this is, like, I've talked about it before, how to keep your interest in a save or something like that, have one goal. My goal, my continuous goal would, I, I've said it, so I kind of, I want to commit to it to maintain that top three finish every season because Lazio have not been like that in real life. They've been very up and down. So that's the main goal apart from succeeding. Say if I win Champions League, the goal still will be there to improve the quality of the team as well. Just get better players in so you can have that for a... So it keeps going. Say if I just resign eventually. I don't want to, but I mean, say if whenever that did happen, the next manager that came in, it's kind of in place to continue the success. So anyway, we're going to say, go out there and impress me, lads. Okay, Radu, throw in. Parolo. Patrick now, opportunity for him. Uh, Regini, though, defended that well to Regani now. Radu, get involved, boy. Keita, Matri is back. Keita. Ooh, opportunity wasted. Hamshik. He's probably one of the better players, most definitely for Napoli. Rate him highly. Come on, defend this. Don't let them get through, because this is where they can attack in numbers. It's Hamshik, the boy I mentioned before. Gulam, and it falls to Higuain. And, oh, of course, he's a superstar. Gonzalo Higuain 
is able to find the back of the net 1-0. See, he's the danger. Both him and Hamsik uh, very dangerous. Hamsik, oh, that's, but they're in so much space. Like, what do you expect is going to happen in that situation? You get a cross in, and Higuain always going to finish. Okay, okay, what's happening here? <laughs> there were so many things in the way. I don't know what I clicked. But Rugani scores his first goal of the season, and that is all that matters. Good goal to get back, most definitely. So, Kendreva, let's watch that again. Good ball in, and Rugani just powered that header. Uh, some people were saying that Rugani didn't do well in like the Champions League. He made errors and that kind of stuff. But if you go to form, look, he's been developing nicely as well. But Juventus... That second leg, you got 7.7 .7 rating, and then the previous one, 7.5, maybe gave away a penalty, uh, but what can you say? He's a young lad, but apart from maybe an error, he's been so good, and if he did make errors, he will learn from them, most definitely, as a youngster coming up. Okay, Patrick, Parolo, Bilia, can we get that goal back? Can Draver... Can Draver, can we score? We do. And you might have seen there, it was saying we're being outnumbered in the midfield by Napoli's players. And sometimes I get comments from you guys, why don't you listen to the suggestions? I do sometimes. Like, I don't have to do what they say every single time. And you see here, not making any changes, uh, we get the lead now. So you don't always have to make a change that is suggested. It's just something noted that's happening. Yeah, you can see Napoli's dominating possession, but are they doing much with it? And they're not doing enough with it anyway because we've got the lead now. So yes, I do listen to it sometimes. But Antonio Kondreva, how good is he? Assertive. Yeah. Uh, to me, like these options are pretty much the same. Don't get complacent. But this uh, this team talk right there has more about it. It says you might be winning, but that could all still change if your performance levels drop. Don't let that happen. Assertively, we'll say that. And let's see the reaction. I don't know how you can get confused by that, Antonio, but we'll say I'm very happy with your performance tonight. Obviously, he wants to be praised because he knows he's done well, but he's still confused. Oh, Baldo Keita picks up an injury. It looks to be a pretty serious one because his, yeah, condition shot right down. So we'll substitute him, uh, take him out early. So, yeah, just prevent any big injury, I suppose. I hope so anyway. Just, yeah, hopefully doesn't affect his preseason. That's what I'm thinking right now. So, yeah, Philippe Anderson get some more game time into him. Uh, will that be it for now? I think so. Willie Auburn's not having the best game. Well, uh, I don't know. He hasn't been that bad from what I've seen. 6.4. But anyway, just bring in Philippe Anderson. Looked happy. All good. So, guys, here we're actually going to bring on Stefano Maori. I just want him just to prove everything wrong, not people in particular, just yeah, anything, just everything around him, like that he's too old, that the uh, kind of talk about that, just in the media or something like that, because that would be the situation if this was real life, Maori, get an older player, you'll be wondering how long is he going to go on, so we will make that change, and I think we have to take Radu off on a yellow, that's a must, can't risk getting a second, and that will be it. I would love Maori to step up and just score another goal. Just like he's never been injured at all. He just had a little break <laughs> and he's back. Just picks up where he left off. That, that will be ideal. Okay, throw in Lulic. Can we finish off this game actually? Philippe Anderson? Oh, they're going to counter here. We have to really be careful. Over the top to Insigne. He's a dangerous player as well. Goes out wide to Goulam. Giorgino is offside. 10 minutes remaining. Can we hold on here, Kendreva has had a superb game. Daniele Rugani at the back. He's defended well. He scored that goal. Patrick's been very impressive defensively today as well with the 7.3 rating. Then the two central midfielders, Parolo and Bilia, showing their experience. And it does look like we're going to hold on right now, but, you know, anything can happen late in games in Football Manager, but the way this game is playing out, oh, Rugani picks up a late yellow, but he's still going to get a solid rating. Patrick boosting up his <laughs> yeah, rating late in the game, uh, probably with some defensive challenges and yeah, picking up the ball here. Plays a simple pass to Lulic, Philippe Anderson, Maori plays a nice pass out wide to Patrick, and Matri could not finish off the good work, but solid performance against a decent team, Napoli, you know, you saw how they were playing, they do have some dangerous players, passionately, that was a good victory from us, very nice to see, Kondreva, 
we signed him on a new contract not too long ago, a few episodes back, and because he had some interest like, from Chelsea, not letting that boy go. So good, so good. He scores and he creates so many goals, so many assists this season. What more do you want from a player? So as you can see there, Bode Kato, just a damage heal. He's only going to miss five to seven days. So leave to the physio, not a troubling injury long term at all. So that's very good, especially for a young guy, like a young wonder kid type. You know, I'm getting a big injury. So we've got four games left in the season, but we're second and we are, you say if Inter, just for example, just see the worst case scenario, if you call it worst case scenario, I suppose, if Inter win, they'll be on 68 points, but we're still 10 points off fourth, so we're going to be, we're going to be in the top three, we're going to be Champions League, so I will play the three games that we have next, and then I'll finish up with Bologna, just, yeah, one game, because then I can review a bit more, instead of having two games, I have one game, then I'll talk about the season a bit, and yeah, maybe re review some young players, players come back from on loan in the under-20s and all that good stuff, so hopefully, you will be enjoying these uh, videos now, have some music in the background, make it so sound really nice, I actually personally uh, think it sounds good with my voice, it fits it well, and it just makes it more easier li to listen to, more enjoyable, uh, personally for me, so drop a like if you enjoy enjoyed it subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys in the very next video